you want to learn how to bunny hop like this? How about zipline bouncing to avoid enemy fire? Okay, what about some wall bouncing as well with that? I can guarantee you now, if you implement some of this movement into your gameplay, you're guaranteed more victories. Ladies and gents, welcome back to another Apex Legends mobile video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my professional settings. Now, I say professional, I'm no pro, but I'm actually calling it professional because this movement you don't see the casual gamer using. Now, that being said, don't worry if you don't want to copy all the settings, including sensitivity. What you do need to copy is all of my control settings. So when I say control settings, this video is going to be split into three parts. Control settings, sensitivity, and HUD. You only need to copy the control. Now, if you want to copy all of my settings, that's entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay then, ladies and gents, let's start off with the settings. Right. Starting off, you need advanced setup. Auto firing, you want this off. Left fire button, you want this on. One tap ADS, you want this off. Bolt action sniper mode, tap to fire. Semi auto shotgun mode, tap to fire. ADS mode, tap. ADS button rotates camera, off. You don't, don't want that. Now let's go further. Aim assist off, that breaks your aim, don't use it. TPP optic, classic. Auto open doors, you want this off. And chests, also off. But you can turn them on, but it's much better reaction if you turn them off. Weapon auto cycle on, continuous flowing off, uh, tactical ability classic, ultimate use method classic, allow squad mates control when offline on. So if anybody goes AFK, you can control their body. Now joystick triggers auto on, you want this on, crouching controls tap, uh, easy. You want to use a crouch button off, use the jump button, rotate off. You don't want any of these buttons to be able to rotate your camera because it's going to mess up your accuracy as well. So there's just a little tip for you, okay? Okay. Now, moving on to the climb then, ladies and gents. Um, you want that on classic. Climbing prompt is off. Uh, zip line then. This is super important, so follow these. Uh, zip line buttons, display, single tap. And then you want vertical interact button on. You want vertical direction tips off. Vertical zip lines off. And assisted zip line floor landing off. Moving on to the items then. So I'm just going to go through these quick. Off, 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 off. And then you want your attachment pack, pack on with the optics and ammo. Because you don't really want to be switching like mags or barrels. Now pick up, off, uh, switch item mode, tap. Um, hold to target interview should not be on. Now auto pickup on, auto pickup interview short. When pickup list is closed, stop auto pickup. You want that off. Um, and then healing items, this is what I go with. So just pause the video, copy them if you want to copy them. Ammo, entirely up to you. But I kind of go with these. And um, the only things that I've changed is the shotgun ammo and uh, pretty much just like one um, backpack worth of it. Now ordnance. Um, which is obviously the grenades, one of everything. Now, let's move on to ping anyway. So, auto ping, you want off, 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 on. And then, enable quick ping enemies and watch out here. That's all you need. Bat information then. So, this is screen clutter. Minimap, on, on. Um, crosswire radar, on, on, off. Stacking and fixed position. And then, you want target crosshair and whatnot. Now, let's take a look at the HUD here, guys. If I'm going too quick for you, just pause the video at any moment. But anyways, take a screenshot of this. If you want to copy my exact HUD, it's entirely up to you. Now, my HUD may change uh, depending on my videos. I always change it. Now, sensitivity, you can pause the video at any moment. I'm not going to go through all these settings with you. But if you want to use the same settings as me, this is what I'm using. I use a super high sensitivity and I use a fixed speed as well. So I've got full momentum and control over my own, um, you know, accuracy. I don't use gyroscope, so sorry about that. Graphics, I use normal and everything else on ultra or on. Now, colorblind, I put on uh, pro... Uh, okay then ladies and gents that is my settings i do apologize if i went too quick for you like i mentioned in the video just pause it at any point that you want to copy the settings now if you want to learn the movement that i was showing you at the very beginning of this video then don't worry i've got tutorials coming your way very soon so keep an eye out for that so that's also another reason to subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on now that being said i hope again these settings Settings help you out. This is the settings that you definitely want to be using for gameplay and definitely movement as well. I'm not talking about the HUD or sensitivity. I'm just talking about the control settings themselves. Now, if this does help you out, guys, drop a like, subscribe, and thank you again so much for supporting me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I be that young rapping dude. Might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby. Might just clap your crew.